Crimean bridge became a trap for the Russians, so Ukraine does not completely destroy the bridge. Ukraine is systematically destroying Russian air defense in the temporarily occupied Crimea, but it is in no hurry to destroy the bridge, Ukrainian military expert Yevgeny Diki told Novinana in an interview. This is not just like that. This is a targeted campaign in which all our branches of the military are involved under the coordination of the main intelligence directorate. This is such a very strategic operation. We realized last year that the Russians' air defense is not a carriage. They had enough air defense to cover Moscow, the front line. Unfortunately, it is very dense and the Crimean Peninsula. And in order to even accomplish this task, they took away the air defense from the Arctic. They took the last S-300 from the Kuril Islands last year. This is something that is impossible during the Soviet Union. I couldn't imagine, said Dickey. According to Dickey, now Ukraine is not destroying the Crimean bridge since it has the opportunity to destroy the Russian air defense system. What's happening now? They have a sacred object, the Crimean bridge. It's really strategically important. Even though we damaged it, the capacity is much less than it was, but it's not zero. Therefore, it's very important for them. But it's also politically important. The object is a symbol of Putin's Russia. They are very afraid that we will finish it off. But we have turned it into a bait. We have turned Crimea into such a Chernobyevka of Russian air defense. We are destroying the air defense that covers the Crimean bridge, but not. We're hitting the bridge, waiting for the next air defense to arrive, Dicky explained. He added that due to the fact that the Russians are constantly bringing new air defense systems to Crimea and Ukraine is destroying them, large strategic zones on the territory of the Russian Federation now have problems with cover, which Ukraine is simultaneously using, driving the Kremlin into a trap. We use the Crimean bridge as bait and destroy their air defense on an industrial scale, realizing that it is very endless. And then space opens up for them and our cheap drones fly to the airfields where strategic aircraft for them are destroyed. Let me remind you that recently it was two Su-57s were destroyed and there are only 10 of them in Russia. That is, we are attacking them with cheap drones and the airfield guards are repelling an attack from Kalash guns. Even if they don't have a complex for such an airfield, then this is an indicator that they physically do not have air defenses against the oil ones. Factories, and this is their blood, this is what this regime rests on, Dickie said. Earlier, the head of the main intelligence directorate, Kirill Budanov, said that Ukraine could destroy the Crimean bridge with American ATACMS missiles. The only question is the number of these missiles that Ukraine can launch simultaneously. North Korean troops will become cannon fodder in Ukraine, Pentagon General. The Pentagon will monitor the possible movement of North Korean troops to Russia for their participation in the war in Ukraine. However, in the United States, they believe that these troops will become cannon fodder for the Ukrainian armed forces. This was stated by Pentagon spokesman General Patrick Ryder during a briefing. According to him, this is definitely something to keep an eye on. I think if I were in charge of North Korea's military personnel, I would question sending my forces as cannon fodder in an illegal war against Ukraine, Ryder said. He added that we have seen the losses of Russian troops. At the same time, the general emphasized that the United States will monitor this. Recall, North Korea and Russia have agreed to provide immediate military assistance to each other if either country faces an armed attack. The agreement, which President Vladimir Putin and North Korean leader Kim Jong-un signed, also includes cooperation on nuclear energy, space exploration and food and energy security, is one of Moscow's most high-profile moves in Asia in recent years. It is unclear how the agreement will affect Russia's war against Ukraine, which began with an invasion in February 2022. Washington and Seoul are increasingly concerned about deepening military cooperation between Russia and North Korea and accuse them of violating international laws by trading in weapons. Ukrainian officials said they found debris from North Korean missiles on their country's territory. Russia and North Korea deny any arms trade. In general, this is a military alliance agreement. This will be Moscow's first defense alliance outside the post-Soviet base, said Artem Lukin of Russia's Far Eastern Federal University. 
But the strength of any alliance is not what is written, and the mutual defense clause does not automatically mean participation in each other's wars, he said. It remains to be seen how far and how deep Russia and North Korea will go in their alliance relations this time. Will North Korean troops appear in Ukraine? Will Russia provide military assistance to the North Korea in possible clashes between the North Korea and South Korea over the disputed border in the Yellow Sea? Nothing is being considered now, Lukin said.